low kick. This is awesome. It is very smooth. There's no It's kick. like a cap gun. I don't think it's we like need these. <laughs> hey people, Gotti Edelman here with another out of the box review. This quite possibly could be the most important review I've done to date because what's inside this bag could save your life and every single person should have one. So let's just get right to it and we'll see what we've got here. I have the Van Quest Gear second generation fat pack first aid trauma pack. They call it the fat pack. Now this comes in three different sizes. You can get this in a four by six, which is an individual size, has more than enough room to carry what you need first aid wise for an individual. They make a five by eight. And then this is the big boy. This is the seven by 10. And even though it's so-called the biggest, let me tell you, it's not that big as far as having to carry it around. I'm going to mount this to my gun bag. Now with it, I of course got a set of Molly sticks so I can weave it onto anything that is set up for Molly gear, uh, be it a knapsack, a backpack. Um, you can actually even mount this one to your belt. Um, I'm going to put it, like I said, weaving it through the Molly here. I'm going to put this on my gun bag. Now on their website, you can get a bunch of different rubber patches that are Velcro. Um, obviously, I opted for the ones that are going to let everybody know what's in here. So it's pretty obvious that it's medical and I wanted to get the matching color as far as the cross is concerned. And I just noticed in the light here, <laughs> these are glow in the dark, which is kind of cool. It's, that's actually really smart, glow in the dark. So you got the red cross and then the coyote color medical kit and cross. Now. The one thing that stands out with this bag, and I did look over a bunch of different bags before I decided on this one, and I just want to tell everybody very quickly, I'm a former paramedic and former trauma nurse. So I'm going to come at this review from a medical standpoint. And one of the most important things, and what is brilliant in the design of this one, is even though this zips closed, you can get into this one-handed. If you were in a situation, and I personally had this situation happen, where I split this thumb open with the slide of one of my weapons out of my range, this hand was pretty much immobilized, I would have loved to have had this. Well, now I don't have to worry about thinking about it anymore because I own one. And this is fantastic. This red Velcro up here signifies that that's your emergency open. That's your pull tab right there. If you have this mounted to anything at all, whether it's, like I said, a backpack, a gun bag, even if you're wearing it on a belt, you can get into this one handed, provided that there's something holding it that has enough weight to be able to rip it open. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, obviously I'm going to use my left hand because we don't have this mounted to anything. But if you need to get this in and into here in an emergency, you're going to grab that handle right up here where this red tab is. You grab this nylon handle and you pull and you're in one handed. That is if nothing else, and I haven't even really looked this over and I know there's a ton of room in here, but it, that in itself is worth it right there because God forbid you hurt yourself. It's one thing, but if you hurt yourself and you cannot even get into your first aid trauma kit, what's the point of even having one? That is a brilliant, brilliant design. One handed pull open. It just plops open and you're inside. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and we'll see what this is all about and what you can put in here. Okay, so I've got this all filled up and ready to roll. Before we break into it, I want to go over a few things. First, as I had told you, this was the VanQuest Fat Pack. And the reason they call it the Fat Pack is it stands for First Aid Trauma Pack. So we both learned something. I actually was wondering why they called it that and I looked it up on their specs. I am so impressed not only with how much I've put in here, but with how much room I still have left over if I wanted to add more. Now, everybody's going to use it for a different purpose. As I said, I'm going to put this on my gun bag. It's going to be going with me to the range. 
You might throw it in your car. You might use it just for hiking if you're not a shooter. Everyone should have one of these. I don't care if you just keep it in the house. But my point is the quality of how well this one is made overall and the thought process into everything and the design is just phenomenal. But getting back to the quality, when I was online and I was looking over all these different trauma packs, there are ones out there that are cheaper. But that's the problem. They're cheaper. And you get what you pay for. And I can guarantee you they're not going to take the beating this one will as far as the material it's made out of, the way it's stitched, the way it's put together. And you're going to end up having to replace whatever it is you buy if you buy a cheaper one. And in the long run, I think you're going to end up spending more by having to go out and buy a, another one to replace the one that rips up. This is water repellent on the exterior. It's got ripstop nylon on the inside. Overall, this is just an amazing pack. Now, if you were wondering in that first portion of the video what these gray Velcro tabs were for, now you know. So if you have anything in the side that has handles, in this case trauma scissors, you can strap those down and it's going to stabilize that on the side of the pack. You can also hang carabiners. I'm going to use this for my keys. Over here, I've got a pair of hemostats. So let's break into this and we'll see what's on the inside. And I think you also are going to be amazed how much I've got in here. And this thing, if it weighs a pound, I'd be surprised. And I've got a lot in here. But I do want to say there's a pocket in the front right here that I have not even used. This is empty. And the reason I chose not to use this, and you can put various things in here. You can stick a small flashlight in here. You can put EpiPens in here. Whatever you need for your needs. The reason I chose not to use it is only because it is not sealed and I was worried that water and or moisture could get in there. But let's get into this thing and I want to show you what I've managed to put in here. So the first thing we have when you open it up I've got in here a triangular bandage, I've got gauze pads that are two by twos, I've got alcohol wipes, and then band-aids of every size and assortment. So let me go ahead and start putting this stuff on the table because I want you to see how much actually fits in this pack. Some more band-aids and even more band-aids. That's a big bandage there. So we've got all that just in this section. Now this piece here is actually removable. It also has Velcro tabs and you can remove it all together. I like the way it folds over. It all fits nice and neat together. In the webbing here, I've got two different size gauze rolls. I've got two pair of my latex gloves. I've got a mouth to mouth protector if I need to give mouth to mouth. And I've got a roll of Coban. Now, the only thing that I did that might be a little bit differently, and I didn't have to do this, but this is an old thing that I've done since my paramedic days. This is an ammonia inhalant, and I taped it to the inside so it could be the first thing that I grab. There's enough little elastic straps that I could actually stick that somewhere, but I chose to put it here. I also have an entire pack of 4x4 four four gauze pads. I've got ibuprofen and aspirin, neosporin, Always need a knife. You should always, always have a knife. Trust me, it'll come in handy whether you're ripping gauze or you're taping something and you need to cut it. You gotta have a knife. So if you don't carry one, for that matter, even if you do, I do, have one in the pack. Now up top here, I've got two different size tapes, both narrow and wide. I actually have an entire bottle of saline in here. So I've got, this is the heaviest thing in this whole pack is this bottle of saline. I've got two different ace bandages, wide and narrow. I've got an ice pack, you break it, turns to ice. And then in the back here, I've got every possible dressing that you can imagine. I've got my petroleum dressing, which is a nonstick. I've got Tegaderm, and I've got a surgical dressing. So that's what I'm going to put in mine. Once again, I cannot get over the overall quality of this. And as I looked over it and started to really notice how well it's made and the fact that it's made in the, look at this stitching. This thing is double stitched in most places. 
the nylon is thick but not heavy. I, I can't say enough good things about this. My hat is off to VanQuest. In all honesty, if you're going to go buy one, make sure you pick one of these up. As I said, they come in three different sizes, so there's no reason that you shouldn't have one of these. And trust me, like I said in the first part of the film, God forbid you need to use it, at least, better safe than sorry, at least you should have one if you need it, you know you've got everything. You can put different things in here according to your needs. So again, definitely two thumbs up. My recommendation to VanQuest on, on this, um, I, I just, I can't say enough about it. I mean, overall, this whole thing, the overall quality, that's what gets me. I, I'm just truly impressed. So go to VanQuest.com, pick one of those up, pick up the different patches that you need, and uh, as usual, until next time, I've got your six, and we'll see you at the range.